Hello guys. Welcome to Elvin's Aquatic. Today we're going to talk about the German Blue Rams, the Micro Geo Vegas Ram Maresi, I believe. So, as you can see in the title, this video is about how to keep rams in lower temperature setting. So the general care guide across the internet like all the YouTube channels, all the fish care website, books, whatever. They talk about like German blue rams, goat rams, and also electric blue rams, or even other rams, except for Bolivian rams. So like the German blue ram series, they all talked about they being um, soft water, soft water fish, acidic water, same as most Amazon fish but they require a higher temperature, which is around 82 degree Fahrenheit to maybe even 85. So temperature most impact on fish is basically their lifespan. So under high temperature, fish will undergo a way higher metabolism, which means they'll basically burn out their life faster in some way. At 82 degrees, most tropical fish wouldn't be in the deadly zone. In fact, most tropical fish in my experience are kind of versatile in temperature wise. So it can go as low as like a 72 degree to maybe like a 83 degree, they'll be fine. For example, I live in San Diego, California and temperature here can be very high during the summer and my fish tanks can go up to even 85 degrees sometimes and it's all fine I don't specifically cool down my tanks I have really nano tanks before with like some fish that doesn't require high temperature they're all fine no disease no anything so fish in the higher temperature range for like most general hobbyist they would think about better German blue ram maybe cardinal tetra and also maybe discus i have no experience in keeping discus myself but for all the three fishes better blue ram and cardinal tetra and even ramino's tetra i have successfully kept them very healthy and balanced at around 75 degree which is where my tanks or this current tank that you see are at right now so people would be like how do you keep ram at such low temperature uh, i've personally kept rams before and i would say they are the hardest fish to be kept in big box store uh salt fish because rams they in the natural habitat wise Rams basically lives and spawns in tiny swamps during the hottest season of the Amazon. So they are not expected to live a very long life, like five to seven years like most fish. And as you can see, the rams are pretty healthy now. They are eating. It's not like they're new in the tank. So they have been living here for a while just to prove that they have been living good under 75 degree. I do use reverse osmosis water for water change. Uh, so soft water might be a big contribution to why they can live under low temperature for rams. So back to their natural habitat, natural habitat, rams, swamps in the hottest season in the Amazon little swamp pockets. So they don't have a long life expectancy. Also cardinal tetras and some other few tetras do live in that area. I believe there's green neon and also cardinal maybe. But how do I do this? First of all, these are not true German blue rams. They are balloon rams. I mean balloon rams is selective bred version of German blue ram, so supposedly it's German blue ram, but they have been bred in domestic setting or just like non-wild caught setting for a very long time. So the breeder might not have 
kept them at the 81 to 82 degree uh, setting and also I bought this pair from a PetSmart and according to the PetSmart employee they have been keeping the water at around 68 to 72 degree so they have been pretty vibrant when I got them so I expected that they are braided their bread used to this temperature setting and plus soft water really do benefits a lot of aquarium fish in terms of health especially those that are from the Amazon like South American fish species a good indicator in my tank would be the rummy nose tetra if you see how red their heads are you know how soft the waters are Other than that, I think the most important aspect that contributes to the German Blue Ram success in my tank that they're coloring up, they're pairing, and they're eating well, it's soft water and also the source that they are selective bread species unlike other rams, like normal rams. These are balloon rams, although I would admit that they look a bit more ugly compared to like the beautiful German blue rams or even the long fin rams um, I had to buy them because they are paired up in PetSmart and I just want to give it a try and it works out so I would say if you want to keep ram at lower temperature go for balloon rams since you're 100% sure they're not from the wild and uh I hope there's not much of some genetic modification or like uh, any chemical used to keep them so colorful and that I misunderstood that as a indicator of good health but other than that they have been in my tank for a bit more than a month and they have been keeping their vibrant color so I believe it's a success Thank you for watching this video if you think this video is informative and useful please leave a like and next video i'll talk about how to maximize the capacity of a filter thank you goodbye